Hi YouTube, this is Patrick from Fuzzy Motion, and I'm going to review Warrior, the sports MMA film starring Joel Edgerton, Tom Hardy, Nick Nolte, Jennifer Morrison, and Kurt Angle, believe it or not. Uh, I absolutely loved it, and I gotta say, if you're a fan of sports movies, specifically more like Rocky than Raging Bull, although this movie has a good chunk of Raging Bull in it also, but um, the thing is, if you're like one of those like cynical people that you know, can't look pa could look past like certain things that happen so the plot can advance, then this isn't for you. But if you can do that, if you can just let everything go and just watch and enjoy this movie, you will absolutely love it. Um, it's basically about, well, it's about two brothers that, uh, they each have problems in their lives and they each have to, for different reasons, start training to go back to basically doing mixed martial arts fighting. Uh, and they both join a tournament called Sparta, uh, where the top 16 middleweights in the world compete to win five million dollars. Uh, the two brothers, one is played by Tom Hardy, um, who people would maybe know from Bronson or uh, from Inception. Uh, Hardy in this is, like, amazing. One, flawless American accent. Two, the guy literally, all he needs is horns to basically look like a bull. That's what he looks like. That's what's in his face. And anyone that's worried about him playing Bane next year in, uh, in Batman, you will not be worried about it after you see this. Not at all. Um... He joins up with his father, alcoholic father, Nick Nolte. Well, he's not alcoholic anymore. He's sober a thousand days. Um, now, they've got some problems with their in the past and stuff like that. And Hardy basically tells Nolte that I'll let you train me, but I don't want to talk about anything except training. And Nolte agrees to it, basically, you know, to kind of have his son back. Um, we find out that Hardy's character ran away from Nolte's, uh, from, from his father, Nolte, with his mother, and the mother has just, like, recently died. Hardy also has is a Marine. Uh, Hardy's character's name's Tommy, actually, so I'll just call him Tommy. Tommy used to be a Marine, uh, and he's gone AWOL. So, seeing as that's happened, uh, he's gone AWOL, he's done it for a reason, we find that out later on in the movie. Um, and the other brother, played by Joel Edgerton, uh, Brendan, his name, he is a teacher, uh, a physics teacher, that is losing money on his house. He's going to have to mortgage his house, so he also needs money. Uh, and instead of, he lies to his wife saying that he's bouncing at night. He's not bouncing at bars at night. He's uh, basically fighting in cheap parking lot, uh, you know, UFC fights. Um, so basically, we got both characters with problems. Both are estranged from their father. The only real difference is that Hardy's character has, um, what do you call it, has a wife and kid, uh, not Hardy's character, I'm sorry, Edgerton's character has a wife and kids who, uh, you know, love him and, you know, he loves him back, so he has a much, like, lighter approach to everything than Hardy. Uh, he's much more content with his life, he just needs the money, like Hardy's character. Um, and basically what we got... We get a bunch of things here, which basically leads to the two brothers in the tournament. And I'm not going to spoil how everything goes after that. If you watch the trailer, the trailer actually does spoil it for you. Um, but that's okay. I would still say go see it. Still go see it. The, um, the things that I loved about the movie were the relationships between all the characters. Um, there's a scene with Edgerton and Nolte on Edgerton's, uh, Edgerton's lawn in the movie. It's early on, it's like 40 minutes in. It's this, like, scene where by the end of it, I'm, like, fighting back tears, pissed off that I'm fighting back tears 40 minutes into this movie, because now I'm thinking, if I'm doing this 40 minutes in, what's gonna happen by the end of the movie? Sure enough, there's another scene with Hardy and Nolte in a hotel room. Similar effect. And then there's the end of the movie, which if anyone has seen it yet, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um... Yeah, you know what, that's the strength of the movie. The the performances of the actors and the relationships of the characters. Um, you know, Edgerton's relationship with his wife, played by... Uh, excuse me, Brendan's relationship with his wife, played by Jennifer Morrison, is great. It's not the typical, I'm going to leave you if you go back into fighting fighting again. She doesn't want him to fight, and she's not really behind it, but she knows she doesn't have, no, she knows she doesn't have a choice. She loves her husband, so she kind of... She's there, but she's not... Um, but you can tell that 
it's a, a real relationship where they do you know really care and listen to each other it's it's well done the one downside of the movie is Brendan's a teacher and he has these kids these cl these students now the downside doesn't come I thought originally the downside here would be that these kids would like not respect their physics teacher or think he's lame and then when they find out he can fight they like get behind him that's not the case here they basically um, you know, know he's a decent guy and they respect him, respect him, you know, he's a fun teacher. So I'm glad they didn't, you know, all of a sudden turn around after finding out he's a fighter. When they do find out he's a fighter, they respect him even more. But the thing is, the kids are bad actors. And they're really, like, this is one cliche that didn't work in the movie. The movie has a lot of cliches, but all of them work just because they're done well. Um, this is one that really didn't. And it's what knocks the movie down from a, from a 10 for me, uh, down to a 9. But the fights, all the fights in the movie are really well choreographed. And you know what? They don't look like they're choreographed at all, and they are. And that's probably the greatest strength about them. Um, the O'Connor does the shaky cam probably a little too much. Um, but I, I didn't. Re I, honestly, I didn't really mind it this time. So maybe, maybe he didn't shake it that much. I don't know. Uh, I will say also... A good chunk of MMA fights go to decisions. They don't all end on knockouts and submissions, so the, the movie could have done that. But that's a minor thing. Um, again, I don't want to spoil the movie. I'll just say, actually, if you want to ha read another uh, review or see, watch another review about it on here, I think the the uh, the name is Think Hero TV. They did a review for Warrior. Um, check them out. They did like a 20 minute review of it that really goes in depth about stuff. Um, so if you hear what I have to say and you want to listen to maybe another opinion, listen to that. They maybe could have, you know, explain it a little better. Um, I'm trying to think. What else? I mean, yeah, like I said, Hardy was great. Uh, Nick Nolte should get an Oscar nomination for supporting actor. Edgerton kind of has the little more of a thankless role here, but He's still fantastic. So is Jennifer Morrison. And the guy that Edgerton actually has trained, uh, the guy that uh, Brendan's character is trained by, I don't remember the name of the, the character or the name of the actor, but it's a relationship that actually, for some reason, works a little bit more than it normally would in another movie. I don't know why. I can't explain it, but it just does. Um, and that's why this movie, for me, is getting a 9. It's my favorite movie so far this year. Um... You know, it's more than worth the twelve dollars it costs to go see a movie. Uh, yeah, so that's really all I got. I'm sure I'll think of other stuff to talk about about it after I shut off. But you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, yeah. So favorite movie so far this year. I'm going to see Drive. I think this weekend with uh, Ryan Gosling, and we'll see if that can jump it. Uh, what else? Is there anything else I want to talk to you guys about? I also saw Contagion, the Soderbergh movie. Give it a seven. Kind of disappointing considering the uh, director and the cast, but it was okay. Um, honestly, I'd rather not. You probably should either wait for it to come out on like HBO or something. Don't spend your money if you want to. You know, go watch uh, that Dustin Hoffman movie Out Outbreak instead, instead of watching Contagion. But uh, regardless, all right. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing any more... I won't, well, obviously I'm not going to do any more True, True Blood reviews. I'm going to do some Dexter and Walking Dead when they come back. Uh, I'm going to walk, watch Blue World Empire. I might, might mention some things about it, but I'm not going to review it. Uh, I might do some Blu-ray stuff on top of working on our Fuzzy Motion Spielberg uh, 90s video. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, yeah, but anyway, point being, check out Warrior. Um, seriously, it's the best movie that's come out this year. Um, yeah. That's it. Adios.